So here's here's how we go with this, right? First of all, first of all, let me address this. Man will never be able to control or run something they don't understand, which is called the universe, my dad. So now, let's just say God, the universe, puts himself in a being, a supreme being, a celestial being. Nigga, you'll never be in control of a celestial being. You know why? Because he's omnipresent. So you might be able to control one aspect of him, but there are multiple aspects of him that you can't control. Like yourselves, for example. You all would be at aspects of this omnipresent being, right? And y'all all sitting up trying to control and hackle and do some shit to this omnipresent being. Meanwhile, he's an omnipresent being. You motherfuckers is an individual. So this how this this how this works, right? <clears throat> In order for me to be an omnipresent being, that means all things have to be made through me, for me, and by me, right? That means that I don't have no ruling planets in my star chart. That means I don't have stars in my star chart that are heckling me and fucking with me. <laughs> that means I have stars in my star chart that are keeping me here. That means I don't have ruling planets in my star chart because I rule over it. Meanwhile, you motherfuckers got ruling planets in your star chart that I rule over. See how this works? So every time you idiots run around here in reality, if you want to call it reality, and we're going to talk about the spiritual realm because that's what I'm talking about, the spiritual, and I'm making the unseen seen, so you know who I am. So now, while y'all idiots running around here crying on me and shit on behalf of some other motherfucker that got a ruling planet over him and another motherfucker got a ruling planet over him, I got ruling planets over them. See my point? So the harder y'all go on me, the more karma they get back on them. So them, karma, them planets that rule over y'all, they pay y'all back karma because they're Elohim. And I'm Elohim, but I'm the Lord and God of all Elohims. So now those Elohims are considered planets that y'all are made from. Which is why I own y'all DNA. See how this shit works. So now, I own the planets that y'all constructed from that rule over y'all. I own the stars that you're constructed from that rule over you that are judging you. And my element is ether. So now, that makes me the Elohim of all Elohims. And the other Elohims that y'all trying to put yourself over by trying to defeat me and clown me or go over me are the planets in your motherfucking star chart. And the stars in your star chart. So now, how are you calling yourself an Elohim? Big Elohim. When you got other Elohims in your star chart that you're composed of, that the Elohim God created, you know, the Big Bang, they're putting your star chart. <laughs> so now, <laughs> with that being said, I'm pretty much the only motherfucker walking around here with no ruling planets and no stars in my star chart fucking with me because I own them. <laughs> so <laughs> they're fucking with y'all. <laughs> fucking with your head because you're made from them. Fucking with your body because you're made from them. See how this works? So in other words, all you motherfuckers made from cosmic dust, right? Okay, guess who made the cosmic dust? So now all this shit that's happening is biblical and cyclical, right? So in other words, it's not a human on this planet that can stop this cycle from happening. All you can do is make adjustments during this cycle. But the adjustments that are being made, kind of like not being funny, push some of y'all away from ascending versus ascending because y'all bandwagon jumpers and shit so in other words you count on somebody else to give you a light body you count on somebody else to save your ass during this process that's pretty much the gist of it when you're not supposed to be counting on nobody else this is an individual effort clearly the biblical text says that this shit is individual so clearly that means no one on this planet can save another one on this planet all this shit has to be done individually. You have to do the work yourself. So that means your pastor not going to do it for you. The preacher not going to do it for you. The deacon not going to do it for you. Ain't none of them church niggas going to do it for you. All them church niggas doing is bringing y'all in to get money and getting y'all the fuck up out of there. They're not doing shit for you. Half them motherfuckers not even going to get light bodies because you know why? A lot of them don't believe in immortality. And a lot of them don't think that when you, when they get, your, when you get a spirit body that you're still going to look like this. They stupid. They don't know no better. So again, you know, I can't blame them because they haven't experienced what I experienced either though. But since I've experienced it and I'm rocking one of these bitches, I was the first one in one of these bitches and, you, and the one that triggered you motherfuckers getting them, but you gotta behave to get them. You gotta be real to get them. You know what I'm saying? You gotta walk, talk, live, and bring your truths to get them. That's why let me ask y'all a question. Do you think you're gonna be in heaven with God and be a lying motherfucker? Do y'all really? Do y'all really think these niggas in these churches waving this book that didn't write this book that clearly has transformed from mortality to more immortality? It wouldn't exist. And clearly your flesh is the shit that fucking deceases and erodes and corrodes, not the spirit. 
Because all y'all got the spirit of God in y'all, right? So the spirit of God is immortal, right? Right. So the thing that's being made flesh, me being made immortal, would be your flesh, right? Right. And it shit wouldn't be there in written for you to experience it if you couldn't experience it. And let's keep in mind, this is not a man doing this to you. This is God himself slash the universe doing this to you. Because that's how powerful God himself slash the universe is. Handing out motherfucking light bodies. I mean, my bad. Immortal bodies. I mean, my bad. The perfected being. Human beings. Transformed into celestial beings or spirit beings. Oh, my bad. Spiritual bodies. So again, you got these dumbass niggas running around here with paper in their pockets, flying planes, doing all this other good shit, and ain't none of these motherfuckers gonna survive or even be able to transform into their light bodies because they're liars. And they belong to a secret society, by the way. And God ain't fucking with them. Facts. Big facts. So now again, you got these idiots running around here with this book. They just would it for power and control. They think that you can make up a God. When you can't make up a God, God make your ass up. See how that works? And they all got star charts. We're ruling planets in their star charts. With the Elohim ruling over their bitch asses. Meanwhile, they run around here calling themselves God's the Elohim. So the Elohim that's in their star charts is breaking the fuck down. You know why? Because of the one true living God, Elohim, that don't have none of them ruling planets in the star chart will make their bitch ass and break the fuck down and break their bitch ass the fuck down. So now they at war with the they at war with the stars again. Like I said, they're at war with themselves again. Like I said, so this is the war of all against all that was predicted to be have come for come to fruition in the Bible. So again, a lot of you motherfuckers don't believe in what the fuck you wielding and don't have faith in what the fuck you wielding and can't none of you motherfuckers hand out no light bodies. You can only receive them, dumb bitches. So now again, why would God want some lying ass bitch ass niggas in heaven? He wouldn't. That can die. He wouldn't. See my point? The Bible says, put on your suits of immortality. That means transfiguration. That means put on your light bodies. So that means ain't gonna be no lying motherfuckers in heaven. That means ain't gonna be no killing motherfuckers in heaven. That means it's not going to be no deceiving motherfuckers in heaven. Get my point? So now, is heaven real? Yes, you're in an ascension process. Where's heaven? It's the full time built that you're going into, that you're going to have to, you're going to be able to breathe ether out of it. So now, you have your telepathic, you have all, pretty much all the abilities y'all had in the beginning that you bitch ass motherfuckers don't know about and are unaware of, which I know so much. No, y'all don't. Let me tell you what you don't know. Your being is built by 28, 20, 2028, 20, 2030, y'all be cruising through this belt. A lot of you bitch ass, bum ass, hoe ass, lying ass, bitch ass niggas won't be here. You know why? I just explain why. Because y'all liars. Nigga. Ain't no sense in trying to find somewhere to go hide or some shit to build or some shit to run the control. Nigga, you'll be dead. Bitch. It's in the Bible. Bitch. And the dead coming back to life on your bitch ass. So now, how would death cease to exist? How would God eradicate death? Well, if you got niggas that have been transformed into their light bodies. And then you got niggas that don't believe in light bodies, so they end up just being some fucking zombie bodies. Then you got zombies running around here that are dead but not dead. Then you got people running around here that don't realize they transform into light bodies. Well, there you go. You got the dead amongst the living. See my point? Ready to be judged by the most high creator. See how that shit works? So now I guarantee you that bitch ass nigga in Rochester and that bitch ass nigga on the east side ain't none of these motherfuckers on this planet handing out light bodies. Guarantee you that. I guarantee you that nigga is not the motherfucking father of creation. I guarantee you that nigga will not ascend. Because he's a fucking liar. And God ain't letting no motherfucking liars in heaven. No evil doers in heaven. These motherfuckers running around here, evil doers trying to rule over the one true most living, uh, one true living most high. That's passing out light bodies. Ain't that about a bitch? That nigga ain't getting no light body, nigga. That nigga get a crack, a crack pipe, nigga, and some coke. 